<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Let's Talk For Real. Yeah. How's everybody doing? I know that you guys are going to be tuning in soon, and we want to make sure that you guys, of course, we always ask you, can you hear us? Can you hear me now? Yes, can you hear <laughs> us now? So we just want to make sure that you guys can hear us, because this topic that we are going to be discussing today. It's a spicy to topic. Oh, there's my nephew. Hey, nephew. Hey, nephew. How are you today? <laughs> Glad that you're yes. joining us. Can you hear us okay? Can you hear us okay? All right. Oh, uh, you said hi, auntie. All right. So today, again, like I said, we are going to be talking about a spicy topic. Yes. This topic is probably going to be uncomfortable for some. Mm -hmm. It's going to be just what the doctor ordered for others. Okay. And our topic today is, are you an option or a priority? Yes. Are you an option Ooh. or a priority? Yes. So before we really get into discussing the topic today... I just want to take a moment to give you some definitions of the two words. Option. Option is defined as an act of choosing. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's also defined as the power or mm -hmm. right to choose. Yes. And this is the one that got me. Freedom. Freedom. Of choice. Of choice. Option. Option. Freedom. Freedom. Of choice. Of choice. I hear you over there. Yes. Something that may be. May be. Chosen. Chosen. Operative word. May, may be. be. Yes. Chosen. To acquire. Oh, this really got me. Mm -hmm. The exclusive right to use. To use. <laughs> yes. Option. To acquire, to acquire, to get, mm -hmm. to obtain. Action, action word. The exclusive right to use. Mm -hmm. The opportunity or ability to choose something or to choose between two or more things, something that can be chosen. How many? Two or more. Two Not or one. more things. Yes. That's an option. That's an two option. Or more. So yes. the topic is, are you an option or a priority? And mm -hmm. the last definition is a choice, a choice of possibility. A possibility. What you got to say, sis? Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, that is a major question that we should all be asking ourselves at some point in our lives. Are we a priority or are we an option? And when I look at it, I'm looking at at what point in your life have you decided that you that option outweighs you being a priority? Oh my God! Say that again. At what point in your life mm. did you decide mm. that the option you being an option mm. outweighed you being a priority? Oh my God! Yes, because I can think about when it happened to me. So it's a decision that it's we made. It's a decision. Made. And that's what it said about options. It's a choice. So we made the choice. We made the choice. Didn't nobody make us do it. Mm -mm. Didn't force us. Oh, my. Didn't hold us at gunpoint. Oh, my. But we made the decision that I am no longer going to render myself as a priority, that I'm going to be an option. So I'm going to allow myself, as the definition says, mm -hmm. for someone to have, to acquire the mm -hmm. right, yes. the exclusive right. The exclusive right. So when it's exclusive, that means that you're the one that is exclusively doing it to me. Mm -hmm. Nobody else. Mm -hmm. And it, I'm the only one. And I'm the only one. Who can make the decision oh my. to allow you to. Use me. Use me. My. Mm. So are you an option or a priority? So for me, I can say it started for me when I, when I was thinking about the mm. question. I was pondering at what point in my life did I lose the fact that God had created me to be a priority? Yes. And when did I start settling to be an option? Yeah. And I, I thought about, 
you know, the power of influence. And like she said, the, the, the other people who have put you in a position where they've given you the choice that yes. are you a priority or option, but based on your relationship with them or based on the, your connection with them, you allow them to even influence you to think differently than what God created you, you to, to be. be. Oh, my God. So yeah, so I, I for me, I it it happened. I I can remember because we talk about let's talk for real. Yeah. When I was seven years old, and I've said this to some people who who, who know my story, that I had an aunt that pretty much changed the course of me being a priority or option by sitting me, my sister, and my cousin down and wow. basically saying to my sister, "You're the pretty light skinned one. My cousin, wow. you're the pretty dark skinned one." But she said, "You." You're going to have to develop a personality. Wow. So what I did at seven, I, based on somebody wow. that was older, an adult, spoke over my life and told me that you just being you is not enough. Oh, really? Just you being you was not enough. So what she told me I would have to do is develop a personality. And guess what I did? I developed a personality. I was voted the most popular in school, uh -huh. the friendliest in school. Uh -huh. I was the class clown in uh -huh. school. I uh -huh. did art. You know, I did drama. I did whatever I could do to make myself more visible. Uh -huh. So at that wow. point... That was the turning point for my life at seven when I no longer saw myself as a priority. I saw myself as an option. I saw myself as the third person, yeah. the, the one that didn't get the, the looks. I didn't get what my sister got. Yeah. I didn't get what, you know, somebody else, you know, I didn't get all of those things. But what I, I wound up doing is like, okay, well, I don't have any other option, but let me be bubbly. Right. And I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so when when that was spoken over you, mm -hmm. you received it. I received it. And then you conformed mm -hmm. to that which was spoken over yes. you. Yes. And how many times have we as women conformed mm -hmm. to cuz cuz your actions speak. Mhm. Mm so when someone um treats me differently from the way that I know that I deserve to be treated mm -hmm. and I conform to that, then that means that I've accepted the fact that mm -hmm. I'm an option yeah. and not a priority. Not just accepted the fact. I chose you, it. I, but girl, I chose it because that's what the definition says to choose. I made that decision at seven mm. based on, you know, My I knew God. that he, I always knew I was different. Mm. We all know when we're different. Yeah. I always knew I was peculiar. I was different. I yeah. was going to do something. But for me, at seven, I knew in the back of my mind that what was said to me won't true. My, my, but my, because my, of my, the my. source but in which it source. came from, oh wow! I made the choice that maybe she sees something that I don't see. So, <laughs> so, so the source there the was source. value yes. in the source. There was value in the source that you listened to the mm -hmm. source. Of mm -hmm. what the source said to you yes. to make you accept it, yes. to receive it, mm -hmm. to believe it, to believe it. And how, Lord, have mercy. And we do that every day with the relationships that we have. Will you go ahead on a walk on through that? So we, we choose that was the driving force for me in the in the relationships that I chose. My God, my the, God. The, the environment I, that I put myself in, mm. the people that I allowed in my life, because yes. I always felt like okay. I'm the third wheel. Yes. Mm. yes. But then what happened in my life when I accepted God in my life and God began to show me who I was uh -huh. and began to reveal to me that, no, you are not what they said to you at the age of seven. I was 35. Come on here. I was on, 35. Trill. Come on. When I discovered that the option that I had been living all my life from the age of seven to 35 was a lie. And then it took that for me to realize I was a priority. Let me tell you something. Lord have mercy. Oh, <laughs> God. Th this right here, man. Yes. And, you know, when, when I think about the relationships yes. that I've been in mm -hmm. and how I chose, chose. That's the key to thing. be mm -hmm. the option. Mm -hmm. I chose it. Yes. I did. I, I can see. Mm -hmm. I have to own that, y'all. Yes. I have to own that. Mm -hmm. um, I did not place value and you know this yes. is one thing that we as women we say all the time oh um i love me 
Mm-mm. We'll say it until we turn blue in the face. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love me. Yes. But the way we allow people to treat us mm-hmm. is contrary to what yes. we say when we say, I love me. Yes. And you said it best to me one time. You said, sis, we teach people we how do. to treat us. We do. And we do. We teach people how to treat yes. us. We teach people how to prioritize us. Yes. Put us on different levels when, you know, um, uh, at, at, we were talking about the, the relationship portion of it. That you know, I think about. I go. I'm, I'm reflecting now. Yeah. Uh, some of the relationships I had, they won't even worth my time. Come on here. They didn't won't even worth my time. But because I didn't know that I can do better or I deserve better, I was settling for uh, less than what God said I, I was required to have for me. Settling. Settling. We do. And we do it every single day. We settle in and and um. Our friendships, we settle in our relationships, we settle in jobs, we settle in in all these things because we have lost our identity and we have lost our sense of where we are in this hierarchy of where we are supposed to be as priorities. We'll put everybody else before us, especially as women. We'll put everybody Everybody. before us. And then that little energy that I got left, then I give it to me. Mm -mm. (laughs) And so then that means that you are at a deficit. Yes. Yes. Right? You're at a deficit. That mm-hmm. means that you're bankrupt. Yes. There's Lord have mercy. Yes. There's, a level, right there. there's a level of bankruptcy mm-hmm. that's in us. And that's why, y'all, I'm sorry if I'm mm-hmm. talking loud. Please forgive me. <laughs> you're right, Melissa. We cannot change what we are not willing to, to face. That's it. We mm-hmm. can't. But see, then there's a level of bankruptcy yes. that enters in on the inside of us that we allow to continue to deplete us. Mm-hmm. And it depletes us emotionally. Mm-hmm. It depletes us mentally. Mm-hmm. It depletes us in so many ways. And then what happens is, as that depletion continues to escalate and grow, it begins to play out in every relationship that we have. Mm-hmm. Because you said something key. You said when you were seven years old, you're not the only woman yes. that received a seed that was planted mm-hmm. in you yes. and allowed it to, to begin grow. to grow mm-hmm. and, and manifest on the inside of you over the years. Mm-hmm. And so as you allowed it to manifest, then you started doing things. Right. A lot of us, Lord, God, yes. girl, this is just messing me up today. Mm-hmm. A lot of us, because we receive the seeds that have been planted in yes. us as little girls, yes. we began to play them out mm-hmm. over and over and mm-hmm. over and over in our lives. Mm-hmm. And so then we get into a place of, that's just the way it's going to be. Mm-mm. I ain't going to get no better. Ain't nobody else going to want me. Who else going to deal with me and all my issues? Uh-uh. That's a lie. From the pit of hell. <laughs> and, I, and I think especially when, and when I started reflecting about the relationship portion of it, especially with men and the relationships that I was having in my life because oh my God. we were talking about uh, a couple of weeks ago about the, the power and authority that Adam had to name those things and they became that. Yes. So when we have these these deficits in our life already, we got yes. a low standard of who we are yeah. and then we get into these relationships with men who are walking contrary to the authority that God given them, but they still have authority and they start speaking stuff into your life and then you start becoming that stuff that they don't spoke to you. And now you don't lost your identity. You don't lost your way. You don't lost your vision. You don't lost your purpose. Your and now you're trying to your, yes. your confidence. Yes. And you lost all of that. You can't see where am I a priority anymore. Exactly. Now you become options for everybody. You're not the Kleenex tissue that the, the Joker's coming along and just picking you out the out of the Kleenex box, toss you aside, and he going for the next one. Stop letting people just pluck you out and just using what they're gonna use and get what they're gonna get out of you and toss you to the side. Start realizing that you are greater than what you've been settling for. Exactly, because just what you just <laughs> said, you said the right. So one of the definitions for option, we're going to talk about priority too. Mm-hmm. Option is to acquire the right. The right. The exclusive, exclusive right. Exclusive right. To use. Yes. <laughs> I, I mean, when I, when I was researching the definition, and mm-hmm. I think about from a relationship yes. standpoint, how we give people the permission yes. to use us. Mm. 
You can say that again. I said it messed me up. It messed me up too. When I started researching mm -hmm. the definition and I read that to acquire the exclusive right to you. So I'm giving you permission, permission to use to me. Use me. You might well pick up a remote control and point it at me and say, stop, play, rewind, fast forward, record, play, pause. Because that's what we're doing when we're giving somebody that much authority over our life that now they're controlling you. And see, let me tell you something. When, when you get into that mindset and mm -hmm. that frame of mind, th this is what happened to me because this is Let's Talk For Real. Yes. I don't care what you do. Mm -hmm. You, you, have you, let me ask y'all this question because this is mm -hmm. what happened to me. Have you ever found yourself loving somebody harder than they loving you? Ooh. Have you ever found Raise yourself in a relationship that you, you hang the moon for that, for that Ooh. joke? And he won't even give you the dirt off the ground. Mm. You celebrate them. I mean, you break out the fireworks. And he you, tolerates you. you. You spend all up. <laughs> Girl, you better come on here. <laughs> yeah, you celebrate them, but they, they tolerate, tolerate you. you. Okay. Are you being celebrated or are you being tolerated? Mm. Now, let me tell you something. If you're being celebrated, then you're a priority. If you're being tolerated, then you're an option. Ooh, we girl. can't make it no plainer than that. Girl. Let me say that again. Because mm. y'all need to go ahead. Y'all need to Ooh, tweet that. Yes, that's a hashtag. It, hashtag <laughs> not tolerated, but yes. celebrated. So let me say that again. Mm. If you are celebrated, yes. you are an option. Yes. If you are tolerated. If you're celebrated, you're a priority. I mean, I'm yes. sorry. Yes. I got you. Thank you, sis. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little ahead That's of all right. If you are celebrated, then you are a priority. Yes. If you are tolerated, then, then you, you are, are an option. option. So what are mm. you? Let's pause right there for a second. Talk about mm. being tolerated as an option. Mm. You got his kids. <laughs> you taking care of his kids. Mm. He driving your car. Mm. He running gas out of your car. He dropping you he off. He dropping you off. Being late picking you up. Y'all ain't going to talk to me Ooh. right there. We hitting something right there, sis. Option. That's an option. He got another woman. It comes time to, to celebrate your birthday. He can't. It's always an excuse. He got mm. to give you a speech. You the side chick. Option. That's an option. <laughs> We're talking for real today. Oh, my God. We're talking for good. real today. Are so, you being tolerated or are you being celebrated? Yes. And when he cele if when you're in that position of a priority and he's celebrating you, you ain't got to ask him to do for you. So he's we, automatically, he automatically doing for you. Because he, he wants to. He's, he's, he's redoing his schedule so he can do stuff with you. He's calling the check on you. Come on. But how many of you that are being treated as an option go all day, all week? That mm. joker don't never call on you until he want the booty call. But let, 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 me, let, me, let me stop right there. <laughs> let, now, he'll call you for that. But mm -hmm. hold on. Let's talk about priority. Then we can come back to option two, yes, sis. Get priority. But we want, we want to definitely yes. give you the definition. Because we're giving you the definition of option. Let us give you the definition of priority. Something that is more important, more important than other things. Yes. And that needs to be done or dealt with first. First. The things that someone cares about mm. and thinks are important. Yes. The condition of being more important than something more important. or someone else. And therefore coming or being dealt with first. First. Something given. Mm -hmm. Or meriting attention before competing alternatives. Mm -hmm. Did y'all just see that? Mm -mm -mm. So nothing can compete. Oh mm -hmm. my God. He ain't waiting for the game uh, to go off for his mm -mm. boys to go home. He ain't waiting for all mm -mm. of that. Mm -mm. You are mm -mm. a priority. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That means you are mm -hmm. important. Yes. Yes. But you know what? What I just thought about? How can he see you as a priority when you're not even a priority to yourself? Right. When you look at yourself mm. and you, you conduct yourself, you handle yourself, you carry yourself mm. as an option. And wow. see, that, that's what's happening today. 
too many of us women yes. have accepted yes. the place, the position, the posture mm -hmm. of being an option yes. and not a priority. That's why the jokers can do what they do. And then there are some men. Mm -hmm. Not It's not just women now. Yes. There are some men who have received the place, the posture. Of as, being an option. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Because she mm. talked to him like a dog. Yes. Treat him like dirt. Mm -mm. And he right there. And he ain't a priority either. Not even a... He's an option too. He's sitting home with the kids. He paying all the bills. She's still at the club. She's still dropping it like it's hot. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, not talking to us today. Mm -mm -mm. We got we got some people on the line. Hey, wow. how y'all doing today? This is Let's Talk for Real. The topic mm. is: Are you an option or, or a, a priority? priority? And when you make yourself a priority, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. You're not going to settle for any type of behavior. You're not going to settle for any type of conversation. You're going to be looking at people like, bye, Felicia. Exactly. Bye, exactly. Felix. Exactly. Because me and out there, too. Exactly. But you're not going to be wasting your time because time is precious. Yes, it That's is. That's the one thing that we can't get back. And we have allowed enough people to take up our airspace, our time, our, our, our um, just who we are. We have allowed consume. people to come in here and consume everything yeah. that we are. Yeah. And now we're sitting up here looking crazy. Looking crazy. And mm. then we're trying to figure out, well, how, how do I get out of it? Uh, can, can can I just help you today? Let me help you today. Help us. Help Cause us. I love y'all. I, I gotta help y'all. Hey, baby, how you doing? Listen, <laughs> the same way you got in it is yes. the same way you get out of it. And you know what that is? Choice. It's by making a decision. You making you made a decision to accept mm -hmm. the position yes. as an option. Yes. And in order to get out of it, you gotta make the decision to accept the position. Of a priority to be a priority. That means you got to find yourself being important enough. Yes. That you're not going to be last. That you're going to put yourself in a position of being first. Absolutely. And that's what happens so free. much with us. Yes. Is that we we get so caught up in pleasing other people that you don't have you have depleted like you said you depleted yourself that now yes. it's like people keep putting they, like the ATM card and they're Making taking a withdrawal draw. and there's nothing else in there and, and nobody's gotta, depositing anything yes. in there because when you are an option that's what you are you mm -hmm. are a person that allow withdrawals to be made yes. over and over, over withdrawals. and over and over yeah you you, you yes. bad checks yes people insufficient bouncing funds <laughs> bouncing checks bouncing all you over you. you know, and and and, mm. and so when you are an option, there mm -hmm. are more deposits being yes. made in mm -hmm. you. And we're trying to break this thing down so that you can understand that you don't have to continue to be an option. Yes, it's a choice. Yes, you don't mm -hmm. have to continue to be an option. It's an exclusive choice, like the definition said. That means that nobody else can make that decision for you but, but you. you. But you, God had already ordained that you were a priority when he created you. Exactly. And that's why even with identical twins, they're not identical twins. That's right. Because there's of the fact that there's a difference in them because God knew that both of us can't do the same thing. So he, he never duplicates any of us. No, he does I'm a one of a kind. I'm a masterpiece. Yes. Ain't going to be nobody else like me. That's so right. So why are we out here trying to duplicate ourselves and trying to be somebody else and trying to get what somebody else is getting? Once again, you're putting yourself in that phase of being an option. When you should be your authentic self, be original, be a masterpiece, be a one of a kind, no, and I say, I am a priority. It's, that's what it says. Oh, my God. The only choice. The option said it's one of two things. So, when you are a priority, mm -hmm. from what I just heard you say, that denotes to me that I'm living life. Yes. That yes. I'm, I'm living. Mm-hmm. But when I am an option, uh, I'm existing. Oh, girl, you better say that again. Yeah, I'm existing. Yes. When I'm an option, I'm existing. existing. But when mm -hmm. I am a priority, I'm living. Yes. And there is a difference. It's a great difference. 
Because I say, I say, I jokingly say all the time, honey, stop. It's, it's time for you to stop functioning, and it's time for you to start living. Yeah. Functioning means I'm going, you know, every day doing the routine of everything. I'm, I'm like punching a clock. Yeah. But living, I'm experiencing the wind in my hair. Yeah. Although I ain't got none. Yes. I'm experiencing yes. the sounds that the birds are making. I'm embracing the sun on my skin and my face, and I'm just embracing everything. I'm breathing it all in. Yes. And we don't do that anymore. We don't. We mm. don't because when we are an option, we're too busy trying to look at somebody else yes. and talk about and point out their imperfections mm -hmm. and their flaws because mm -hmm. we're trying to make ourselves better. But mm -hmm. when you are a priority, mm -hmm. you don't even have time enough to be yes. looking at anybody else's imperfections, mm -hmm. their flaws, mm -hmm. the extra tish or whatever, the wrong color mm -hmm. shoes, that matching the outfit. You don't yes. have time to do any of that. Option makes you want to be validated. Yes. Priority. You don't need nobody validation. Exactly. You don't need nobody approval. Nobody you to tell you that, you honey, don't. this is who you are. You be telling them, look, this is who I am. You know, and, 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 and I'm so excited about the fact that, you know, I'm still waking up. Yeah. And putting myself back in a position of being a priority. Yeah. And when you, like, like she said uh, on last week. When you come to yourself when and you, you realize yourself, that you are a priority. Oh, my God. You be looking at people's side eye. You be looking at them like, you better go on somewhere with that. Exactly. And, and then the energy that you put out, people are not even going to step to you the same way. That's because they it. see That's that there's a difference in you. Most people say, oh, oh, you done changed because you done shave your head. Boo-boo. Mm-mm. <laughs> changed because I shaved my head. I changed because I decided I, decided. I am going to be a priority. There it and because is. I'm a priority, I'm going to walk in this thing. I'm going to give it to them. I'm going to give you what you like, boo-boo. Yes. I'm going to make it do what it do. Exactly. Exactly. And tell you, let me tell you something about relationships. <laughs> yeah. Because some women feel like when, an, when a relationship ends, and we're oh. still talking about an optional yes. priority now. Some women feel like at the when a, when a mm. relationship ends like that it's a negative thing. Yes. But let me tell you something. Mm. At the ending of a relationship, mm -hmm. it's always positive. Always. You know why? Because it's going to teach you two things. Mm -hmm. It's going to teach you what you want, mm. and it's going to teach you what you don't. <laughs> y'all hear what I say? Mm -hmm. Now, y'all know we're working with two phones again today, so don't be acting like <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm looking at these two phones trying to make it do what it do. Mm -hmm. But listen, it's going to teach you two things. It's going to mm -hmm. teach you what you want, mm -hmm. and it's going to teach you what you don't want. Yes. So it's a positive either way. Mm -hmm. So you got the option to lay down and give up, yeah. or you got the option to get up, dust yourself off, and say, you know what? I'm good because yeah. at the end of the day, when you are when when you when that good thing, cause that's what you are. Yeah, that good thing is gone, and that joker start reflecting and understand. Tag, and now and then you wonder why <laughs> when you see those exes that they inboxing you and they sending you all these little instant messages Ooh, things and, no. and liking all your <laughs> posts and all that stuff Ooh. because they realize that uh. they don't came to themselves. And now that good thing is gone. But let me tell you this, though, sis. Let me tell you. Listen, <laughs> have, have any of you sisters or any of you brothers been out there <laughs> that you've been in a relationship with somebody and you have been in the place of being an option for mm -hmm. so long and then the moment you come to yourself and realize mm -hmm. you're no longer an option, you're a priority, you like this? I could have had a yes. V8. What was I, I thinking? thinking? I'm like, this joker ain't even my type. He ain't what? even that cute. He ain't even cute. He got a tooth missing. Oh! <laughs> he got a lip. <laughs> you know, not talking about those of you who do. I'm just saying. But when you come to yourself, it's just yes. like. Yes. You really like, what was, what I, was thinking? I thinking? And then you feel like I don't waste it all this time. Oh. I could have been doing something else with my life. Oh, my God. That's because you have decided to wake up and realize that, God, I ain't been living. I've been volunteering <laughs> to be an option. an option. So I've mm. been volunteering yes. to be an option. Mm -hmm. And you got to you gotta stop giving that thing your ear. You got to start giving that thing your attention. And you got to start putting your focus on you. And that's why I was looking at somebody today. And I said, bless her heart. She just looked like she wanted to walk off the face of the earth. Bless her heart. I said, what? At some point, 
she has gotten to the, that that place of being an option so she don't even care. Don't she even just care. was walking. See? I've been there, done that. <laughs> I've been there, done that. And I and I'm like, mm-mm. And, and I'm telling my sister's up here, it's so funny. And she it took my sister telling me, she said, um, you you got to get yourself together. Yeah, we do. You, you know what are you doing? What are because I, I back in the day, you know, I used to give it to him. But when I when you get to that place where you are tired. numb, You're tired. tired, and just Exhausted. like you said, existing. That's it. You just then exist. you don't care. You don't. But care. then that, that was a wake up call for me. I said, let me get myself together and snap back. Yes, and, and get snap a bounce back, back and get the people what they want. Yeah, yeah. got to so give the you, people. Selena. Get the people what they want. Yes. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Y'all better yes. get the people what they want, baby. Mm-hmm. You better give the people what they want. Yes. Well, babe, I tell what you what. What time is it? Do we have any uh, comments? We got one minute left. You better get it in now. <laughs> Because you know we be getting out. Mm-hmm. Hey, Nicole. Has anybody decided that they're no longer going to be an option? option? Yes. That you're not going to be door number one, door number two, or door number three? Mm. Oh, my, That you're going to be the grand prize? Come on, here. That you gonna, are going to be the, uh, um, what is it, that they they um, play, that you're going to win both showcases? Oh, yes. The price is right. <laughs> the price is right. Yes. The price is right. <laughs> so... Mm. Yes. Okay. I decided I'm not gonna be uh, door number one, door number two, behind the closet, none of that stuff. You better say. I it. decided I'm gonna be in the front doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I hear you, baby girl. She says I am no longer an option. Good for you, honey. Good for you. I love you too, Nicole. And sometimes you got to go and tell that, tell the devil, look, run, tell that you missed again. Yes. That's mm-hmm. it. That's it. That's it. Cause you deserve better. Yes. You deserve more mm-hmm. than what these jokers trying to <laughs> give you. Mm. They want to make some deposits. But but at the end of the day, it's a choice. Yes, it is. And it's, we it's, all it's a have choice. a choice. We got to choose to live and not die. We got to choose to not to not just exist, but to love we, ourselves first. Because yeah. you what you put out is what you're going to attract. Yeah. So if you want to sit up there and have this welcome mat on you and this big target on you, and, and, and then you already know that people pick up on your vibes and they're going to keep, yeah. like she said, taking, 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 taking and not putting anything back. So stop being tolerated and start being celebrated. That's right. Even with your girlfriends. You got some girlfriends oh, that will tolerate you and not celebrate you. Mm. You will celebrate everybody else. But when it comes time to you for you to be celebrated, them jokers acting like they have selective memory. Like they got amnesia. I'm just mm-hmm. saying. Lo- I love the fact, Nicole, that you said I am not an option. Yes. There it is. All mm-hmm. right. So listen. Remember, you need to be celebrated mm-hmm. and not tolerated. tolerated. Mm-hmm. You are a priority and, and not, not an option. option. It's yes. let's talk for real, baby. Listen. Yeah. We want to have some women over. So that we can go live with a group of women. So mm-hmm. if you are interested in connecting with me and my sister here, mm-hmm. come into the studio. Because this is our studio. Yes, this is a studio. For now. For now. <laughs> That's right. Until the other And don't days. mind being transparent. That's right. And you letting got... people see that you have rolls too. That's right. And dimples too. Yes. But they're cute though. <laughs> yes, they are. And double chins as well. Hey, that's okay. It's okay. Because <laughs> see, when I am a priority, none of that matters. It don't matter. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. None of that matters. But at any rate, listen. We love you guys. Mm-hmm. For those of you who want to come and be a part of um, our live broadcast in the studio, inbox us. Those of you who know our numbers personally, give Mm -hmm. us a call. We would love to have a group setting for Mm -hmm. women and even some men. We we invite the brothers to come too. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't be shy. If y'all in the Raleigh area, come on. We'll we'll allow you to come on in and talk for real. Let them bellies out. (laughs) Yes. Let's talk for real. Yes. And Uh we look forward to talking to you guys again. Um, Share. Invite your friends. Um, like she said, if you got topics you want us to talk about yeah. or you're interested in, just let us know because you know it's not just about us. No, that's right. 
Because it, it, it takes right. a village and it takes all of us coming together and trying to get this thing together because we yeah. are our sister's keeper. That's right. So we want to make sure that we keep each other yes. accountable yes. and responsible That's right. and a priority. Yes. So all y'all right. have a fabulous day. Have an awesome weekend. Smooches. Until next time, same station, next Friday, 530. <laughs> Ta-ta. Bye-bye. <laughs>